Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So today is the day where I am parting ways with my 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. I chuckle because, well, we've seen this day before, right? But this one here is gonna be, I can confidently say the last time that I ever get the opportunity to, to purchase one that's close to new, right? So I bought this with 77 miles on it, you know, about four months ago at this point. And I ended up selling it to RMR 4x4 down in Alabama, Birmingham, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And I got a pretty good deal, I think. So I mean, you guys know I was originally gonna post it to bring a trailer, but they just, it was too long of a process. So I mean, they drug it on for three, four weeks at this point without any, without really any actionable responses to me. I mean, I uploaded a crap ton of photos, all the documentation and still just, was taking too long. So I started making phone calls, started calling dealerships, and I had a dealership not too far from me offer 103.5 for it. And I definitely considered that. You guys remember in the last video that I uploaded, 103.5 uh, was the offer that they gave. And not, not terrible, right? I paid 107 for it four months ago, put 5,000 miles on it about, and still, you know, that's not much of a loss after driving it for that long and that many miles coming from new. So I wasn't gonna be terribly upset with that, but at that 103.5 number, I think it was worth considering, worth waiting to see what Bring a Trailer would bring for it. So that was gonna be my plan, but I figured I'd make one more phone call and I called down to RMR 4x4. They tend to specialize in vehicles like this. They often have a number of heritage editions for sale on their lot at any given time. So reached out and said, hey, here's the deal. Yeah, I'm gonna be posting it to Bring a Trailer. It's already 90% in the works on that. I have a 103.5 offer here locally. Uh, would you consider beating them and make a deal happen? And he's like, yeah, no, I'll make it the easiest process for you in the world. I worked with Brandon there, so shout out to Brandon. It was really a pleasure working with him. Super easy process. He's like, yeah, let's do a, let's do 106, and uh, we'll have it we'll have it squared away today. So he took care of all the paperwork, had it all ironed out. Really, within the next couple of hours, you know, the purchase agreement already signed and all that stuff. So, and, and, a, and a check in the mail overnighted to me, and I had it the next day, of course. So, super, super easy process, and definitely pleased with how it worked out. So, 106, happy with that. Could it, could it have gone for a little bit more on bringing trailer? Maybe, but I figured this is a very simple process, and I appreciate that. So, this is going to be the the final shot of the Heritage Edition here. We'll just kind of do a walk around video of it as it is heading out. Unfortunately, I did get the phone call from the driver here saying, hey, we're here at your house. We're ready to go <laughs> with no warning. So zero warning. I would have liked to have done a wash on it right before I hit the road. I guess then again, it's going to be up there for, you know, 1,500 miles or whatever it is down to Alabama anyway. So it's going to get likely a lot of bug splatter regardless. But... I'm the type to, to really detail a vehicle before I sell it, no matter who I sell it to, even if it's a dealership, I want to make sure that it is going to them in the best possible light. So unfortunately, I did not get the opportunity to do that because I didn't get any heads up, unfortunately. It's kind of showing its condition, of course, as it departs, because you never know with transporters, unfortunately. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me if I'm... I know you guys think I'm crazy at this point, but I think that's already been declared. I think we know that. But let me know what you truly would have done. Would you have tried to hold on to it? Or would you have let it go right now when you know prices are still very high on them? And the future is kind of unknown when it comes to the values, right? So it is forever going to be the last V8 Land Cruiser. Uh, and it being the Heritage Edition limited to 1,200 units, uh, in 2021, as well as 2020 for the record, so 2400 total, very limited production run. It will always be special and always be bulletproof. So there's always goodness with it. But I do wonder how the value will fare with like the Land Cruiser nameplate coming back to the US, right? Even though it's gonna be a very different beast, likely a turbocharged v V6 is what we're expecting to mimic the GX 550. But it still kind of makes me wonder, what do you think is gonna happen to the value of these when that starts hitting the, hitting the lots, the new one? Show you underneath. Yeah, they definitely 
don't make vehicles like this anymore. And I give me three days until I'm already searching for a new one. I'm probably gonna buy it back from RMR. <clears throat> Ready. Well, there we have it guys. This is the parting shot to the Land Cruiser here. Let me know what your thoughts are. Appreciate you watching as always. Till next time.